What is a biome? A biome is a large naturally occurring community of fauna and flora occupying a major habitat. A biome can work as a divider of the Earth's surface that divides into different climates, soil types, plants and animals. A biome can also be found in water, not just land. There are different types of biomes. Savanna, grasslands, succulent kuru, namakuru, desert, forest, fynbos, freshwater wetlands, sea biomes and much more. Today we are mainly focusing on a forest biome. A forest biome is the smallest biome in South Africa but covers 30% of the Earth's surface. It is an area with a lot of trees. A forest consists out of three layers which is named from top to bottom. Firstly is the crown, a middle layer and a lower level. In South Africa there is only two types of forest called Afro-Montane and Subtropical Rainforest. But today we are looking at the three most important forest biomes in the world. The three different types of forests are temperate forests, tropical rainforests and boreal forests. Boreal forest. It is known as the largest terrestrial biome. In a boreal forest, the winter seasons are extremely cold, long and dry, while the summers are rather warm, short and moist. It covers 10% of the Earth's surface. Boreal forests are mostly found in areas in North America, Europe and Asia. In South Africa, it can be found across the eastern coast called the Amatole Mountains and in Naisna along the southern Cape coastline. The soil found in a boreal forest is mostly acidic and doesn't have a lot of nutrients. Each year, the average rainfall is a minimum of 300 and up to 900 millimeters. Snow is also very common. In the winter, the sun usually melts the ice in the day and refreezes at night. It can grow up to 15 centimeters in length. Flora. These plants are, are <laughs> these plants are usually adapted to dryness because of the snow that covers it. Boreal forest doesn't have a wide range of different plant types. Almost all of the trees are evergreen and consists out of needle leaves. Leaf has a wax coating to prevent the loss of water and sugar to prevent freezing. There are leaves that fall from the trees which contains fungi. Chemicals are released by fungi that the tree absorbs which contains nutrients. Fauna. Most of the animals find it hard to survive in the winter times but move to the south in summer for food. Birds will migrate the needle leaves determine the number of animals. Trees will generate more seeds than usual every now and then. Mammals are usually large, but there are also smaller animals, like rope. Temperate forests. These forests have all four seasons. Temperature varies from minus 30 degrees to 30 degrees. The rainfall they receive per year is 70 to 150 centimeters. The canopy of these forests are moderately thick and murky with a fair amount of sunlight glaring through. These forests are found in eastern North America, northeastern Asia, and western and central Europe. They have well-defined seasons. The winter is distinct. Temperate forest has about four to six frost-free months and a growing season of 140 to 200 days. The soil in these forests are very fertile, enriched with a decaying litter. Flora. Soil in these forests are rich and support a great amount of plants. There are about three to four tree species per square kilometer. These forests are mostly dominated by hardwood trees like oak, willow and maple trees. Mosses, fern and understory scrubs are common in these forests. Fauna Because of these forests' moderate climate, they have a wide variety of flora. The availability of food is common, therefore a lot of animals are found in these forests. In summer and spring, a lot of birds are found in temperate forests because of the bounty of blossoms, berries, seeds and insects. Tropical rainforests. This biome is one of the most threatened in the world. They contain a wide variety of fauna and flora. These are one of the most beautiful biomes on earth. Tropical rainforests are known for their tropical climate. Very hot and humid and wet. There are no dry season. They are usually classified according to their rainfall stats. Lowland equatorial evergreen rainforest Dadaishas and semi-evergreen seasonal forests, montane rainforests, and flooded forests. There are almost no seasonal change in these forests. These areas normally receive an average yearly rainfall, 
amount of 152 to 406 millimeters. Some of these areas are even prone to an average of 1,000 millimeters rain per year. These biomes are found in the world's warmest, most humid and rainiest areas. They are commonly found near the equator. Examples of these rainforests are the Amazon Rainforest in Brazil and the Kaiai National Park in Thailand. Flora. The three levels of plant growth are canopy, understory, ground stratum. Examples of flora are scrubs, vines, herbs and fungi. Fauna. Examples of small animals in tropical forests are monkeys like tamarinds, sloths, snakes like boa constructor, rodents like mice and rats, insects like the Amazonian giant centipede, frogs like the poison dart frog, birds like the scarlet macaw. Mid to large animals are the tapir, gorilla and jaguar. Between 1990 and 2016, almost 1,3 million square kilometers of forest have been destroyed by deforestation, an area larger than the country of South Africa. The causes of deforestation are farming, grazing, mining, drilling, forestry practices and wildfires. Economical values of rainforests. Tourism. It can bring environmental protection and a clean ecosystem tourists crave. Illegal trading. For example, drug dealing, biological trade, and wood cutting. Environmental services, for example, all the tropical rainforests contribute to cooling the planet. It also helps to balance the aspects like climate change, and more than 25% of the world's medicine comes from rainforests. Did you know the oldest living organism on Earth is a 4,700 year old tree in Nevada? This means it was around when the pyramids were built. Thanks for listening!